analyzation, <laughs> analysis. I don't like that. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, here, Mark, before we start, I'm just going to say to people, I'm not trying to get people to run outside and play. If you just want to stay in the quarantine and keep yourself safe, and uh, that's, that's fine with me. That's not what I'm here for, Mark. I'm here to look at uh, the evidence that people like yourself bring up, and I'm here to try and learn. That's it. But my own opinion is that it's a scam because they want an outcome, a certain outcome for the world, and that's it. So I'll leave it all to you, Mark, and tell us what you've got. Well, Kieran, yeah, a lot's happened since we last spoke. And what is, I think, very important is that the computer modelling from Imperial College, which was put out by this Neil Ferguson, said that 512,000 people were going to die in the UK and 2.2 million in the United States. Now, that computer modelling has been found to be absolutely way over the top inaccurate, which we thought it was in the first place. The other thing is that we have now got an even more draconian rollout, even though we now know that these projected figures are absolutely insanely over um, overdone. And they're now sort of carrying on with this draconian crackdown. And I've got some examples of that today. For instance, there's a police officer, ex-police officer. Listen to this. This is from the Daily Mail. Um, it's a fellow called Ken Hurley. Listen to what he said. Now, this is about people complying with being caught outside, basically. So there are police guidelines for this. In other words, the government instructed the police that if you go out in your car for some exercise, you're allowed to go somewhere in the car to exercise. Uh, the police have now reinterpreted this to mean that if you go anywhere and have some exercise, they're going to take your car number plate and you're going to be put on a list. Um, there's also the other thing where you can travel if you're going to see a vulnerable person. So there's lots of vulnerable people out there we've got to go and visit, you see. And then there's this idea that they can issue fines. Um, the fines go up to £60 after 25, 30 days or something like that. Now, point is that this ex-copper said, if they don't comply, fire baton rounds at them because we're talking about thousands dying. Outspoken former police chief says officers should be able to fire tasers and baton rounds if people fail to comply with the coronavirus lockdown. Now, this irresponsible idiot should be dragged out and, and basically publicly flogged, in my opinion, because what this is going to do is open the door for those coppers who've got tasers to now start using them on people. He's basically given them a carte blanche to go ahead and do that. So at the least, it's irresponsible. And if you look yeah. at it in real terms, this guy is obviously a useful idiot because that's why he's there. That's why he's got a big fat pension sat on his big fat ass making these sweeping statements which are unprecedented in peacetime. We're not in a war that this country's not at war. Right. We're we're at it, no. But what it's done is we're now at war. This country is at war because these people have declared war on the people of the country. And we're going to get into that as we go along. Um, Mark, now, we can't... Mark, sorry. Did you know, uh, can I just tell you something? Did yeah. you hear about the new law came out in uh, Ireland? The Southern Ireland? Go on. Uh, Leo Vradkar came out today and he says that the new legislation is that we're not allowed to leave our homes within a two-kilometre radius. Yeah. Two-kilometre radius is the furthest we can go. So I think it's going to get tighter and tighter even though you've given them statistics, and I sent you that for the mark as well, yeah. they've already uh, yeah. given it out to the public. So yeah. there's very little uh, effect on people, healthy people. So no. that's what we're saying. They're going ahead with it, Mark. It's also been taken off the government website as a highly contagious, really? infectious disease, a high concentration. Yeah, oh, yeah. That. That's, that's on the government website. So, we've na yeah, yeah, we've now got the, these facts that the computer modelling is completely wrong. And they're saying, well, maybe 20,000 people could die. Now, what we have to remember is looking at the Italian figures, most of those people 
were between 70 and 90 years old, the ones who died, and most of them had two to three underlying health problems. The biggest killer with this COVID-19 is actually pneumonia, I think, because it does get into the lungs. Now, we are talking about a different strain, but the other thing is that there's no definition as to what this strain is. In other words, if you've had a cold, you are most likely going to test positive to coronavirus 19, okay? Because there's no specific actual test for it. And the test kits that they've got are no good. The Public Health England know that these are no good, these test kits. So what people have to think, look, think about here is that they're rolling this out. They're saying very ambiguous things. They've already been proved that their, their government uh, in information is, is absolutely lacking. They've gone along with a computer program, which has basically locked down the country on a completely false premise. So I think that's most important that people know that that the country is in lockdown under a false premise because it was a computer model that said that this disease was, they call it a disease, it's not a disease, it's a virus, um, and viruses are very contentious things anyway. So they're, what they're saying is fatally flawed now. Now, the thing is that they're getting more and more draconian with the rules. So 